Now the embed code. Okay, now
Ulrich, you like this background? Yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. How are you doing? You. Hello. Yeah, I'm fine, thanks. How are you doing? Very good. Okay. Very good. You got a nice, nice shirt on there. Let me take a look at it. <laughs> oh, very. That's pretty. Pretty. Yeah. Well, Beautiful. it's a local pattern. It's a local really? pattern. Really? Can you tell where that's made by looking at the design? You mean the background? No, no, the back of your shirt. Can you tell where it's made? Well, it's it's a, a Cameroonian design. Oh, really? For, yeah, yeah, for, for people from the western part of the country. Yeah, you, you know, if you want, at the end of your talk, if you want to give us a tour of the Camer Cameroon. Oh, yeah. You don't I, have I don't, to. You don't have to. No, 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 no. That, that, that would be great. That's a great idea. I think idea. at the end of your talk, uh, I'll say, you can't, would you take us on a, a tour, please? Because a lot of people don't know where it's, you know, even I didn't know where it was at. <laughs> yeah. And a lot okay. of people like me. Yeah. Um, so at the I, end, I will. At, at the end. Yeah. Uh, I, if you feel like doing it, I'll, I'll ask you. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, okay. I, I, I buy in the, uh, I like the idea. Okay. Well, you know, I'm going to Boston. I think uh, I could go for as long as a month. I doubt if I'll be a month. Because I can't stay away from my computer longer than a, a couple of days. Mm. So I'm going to go up there probably probably the end of June. I'm not sure. You're not sure? You don't have your visa yet, right? No, yet. Um, I'm still trying to get a, a date for the visa application. You know, it takes a lot of time. Oh, it um, does? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I, I asked to get um, an expedited visa appointment. I'm still waiting for the, the reply. So hopefully oh, okay. we can answer. And you go to the local embassy there? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The local embassy. Very good. Uh, yeah, I had trouble getting into China. Hello, Young Hong. Have you met uh, yeah. Ulrich? Ulrich. Hello. 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 I'm Young Hong. Hi. Yeah. Nice, nice to, meet, to you. meet you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. You know, Young Hong heads a cisternostomy group in China. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. I yeah. mean, not, yeah. um, I'm humbled uh, to meet you. Okay, okay. Well, well Young Hong, how is your group going, uh, the cisternostomy? Uh, I don't know, because our center, there's uh, a lot of uh, brain trauma. So every okay. patient, I will do cisternostomy. Okay. Well, anything you want to televise, uh, let us know. We'll, we'll be glad to televise it in Chinese, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Especially with these beautiful backgrounds. Look at this, a beautiful mm -hmm. shirt. Beautiful. Good. I, Good. I gotta get a beautiful shirt now. Yeah. Cameroonian. <laughs> uh. So, uh, yeah, it, you know, this Facebook Live is fun and kind of funky. Some days it doesn't work. It didn't work. I couldn't get it going. So this is YouTube, which yeah, gives the, it gives yeah. us a chance to explore it because YouTube. Yeah, let me let me show you. Let me show you because we don't have, we don't start for a second here. I'm going to show you what it looks like in YouTube, and it's actually uh, I think a, a a good option to Facebook. Uh, let me show you. Let me share the screen. Give take you on a tour. Look at this, Young Hong. I, I'm televising in uh, on YouTube. Oh, I don't know if you'll be able to get it, Young Hong. I'm not sure. Because they have that thing about, uh, okay, where, where am I at here? Okay, uh, can you? No, I'm not doing the right one. I'm, I'm not doing the right one. Hold on. Okay. Well, you see the interface here? Yeah, yeah. You okay, do. on the right side, there's a chat box. I'll show you. You can, which makes it kind of, can you? Interactive, should, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it makes it, you know, you, you of course you have, uh, you have this chat. Of course, you, you can do it below on Facebook. I think it's a little better by the side, but I don't know. You see it? You see it? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. So that yeah, makes the chat a little bit better for YouTube? Yeah, you, um, you just wrote, uh, you can use this chat room. Yeah. 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 So if people click on the link, when they go to my Facebook page and they click on that link, they're brought into that with, with the, uh, 
with the uh, yeah. So it's a little more. It can't well, we'll see. But fa Facebook is so convenient to promote. Bingo, yeah. it, it goes out says you know quickly to so many uh, so many people, mm. especially the group. You know the surgical cocktail. Yeah, that's a very good group actually. Yeah, that's a great group. Good, good learning group. Mm. So, uh, okay. Is uh, Natalie going to, oh, another, Natalie around? Oh, Stuart's coming, great. This is a neurosurgeon from Ecuador. He's bilingual. Hello, Stuart. Yeah. Hello, Stuart. Hello. Hey, you got the background, Hello. all right. Hello. Good morning. Look at Hello. that background. What is that? Is that Peru? It's uh, Chile. Chile. Okay, hold on. Let me let me get your video here. Pin your video. That's in Chile. That's in Chile. Wow, that's cool. Uh, Ulrich, may, you might have the option to put a background if you want. Yeah, but don't I need a, a green a green background? Oh, that's true. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, you do. Yeah, yeah you do. I don't have a green background, so. Well, you know, just... it's just a sheet. Yeah. Uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Have I shown you what it is before? Yeah, you showed me already. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. make sure you get the right color. Talk yeah. to a photographer. I'm sure there's a photographer in uh, your capital city. Yeah. Just tell him I need a green screen because if you get the wrong shade, it doesn't work as good. Okay. So, anyways, uh, oh, Dylan, oh, great, it's here. Great. Yeah, getting to know people. Hello, Dylan. Unmute, unmute, Dylan. Yeah, I let's see here. I got, I got, I mute. Okay, I'm, I'll, I'll mute you. Go ahead, Dylan. Go ahead. Are you there? I'm, I'm there. I'm there. Good. I, I, thanks for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much. You like my background, Dylan? Dylan. Someday this will yeah, be yeah. good. This, someday it'll be yeah. your, your face. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. Your face me. or. Uh, Ulrich's face right there. Yeah, it's really beautiful background there. Yeah, it is. It's, uh, neurosurgeons love it. Uh, anything about the OR, neurosurgeons love. <laughs> anything about the OR. They'll, they'll talk about it. They'll, they'll love it. And a good thing they do love it. So, so Stuart, how you been? Yes, I'm here. Uh, I'm in, in the hospital. Are you, you uh, are you work at, at the hospital now? Yeah, it is a little bit of the day. Where'd you, where'd you get the green screen? You have a green screen, right? I am. Yes. Are you in the hospital now? Yeah, I'm in the hospital. Oh, good. Very good. Well, you must have someone there that knows what they're doing as far as the screen. But uh, um, yeah, we have I Ipe is speaking Sunday. Uh, okay. Yeah, what was the topic? On, yeah. The, on, on, uh, let me get the topic here. Hold on. Well, I just mentioned to him today. Uh, okay. Clinoidectomy, intradural and extradural. Let me just write that down here.
Okay, here's the topic. Clinoidectomy. Let me share the screen. There's the topic for uh, for Sunday at five. He just told me. You see it, everyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I'll yeah, just. Now we can see it. Yeah. Okay. Let me stop the share and get ready to start. Okay. Uh, yeah, we had a good conference on Sunday with uh, the WFNS. It was uh, it, it was very very good, and the WFNS FNS is recognizes us, Ulrich. So yeah, um, I, I attended. We we had um, some really great speakers. The yeah, president, yeah, Franco. Yeah, yeah. Well, people came and went. Yeah, you you that's right. You were there. And people come and go. But yeah, yeah, some great speakers, and uh, it went well. Okay, uh, all, you ready to start, Ulrich? Let me count you down, okay? Okay. So, because I got to record it. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good afternoon. This is Dr. John Bennett trying to get on the screen, screen here. Okay. From Miami Beach, Florida, the headquarters of Neurosurgical TV. As you see, we're getting fancy with the backgrounds and everything. Uh, we're, we're, uh, we have the honor today of having uh, Ulrich Sidney, a medical Cameroonian medical student, that's going to be discussing uh, uh, ethmoid bones and, and the, the neuroanatomy of ethmoid bones. Uh, let us go around the panel first and introduce everyone. Uh, let's start with Young Hong. How are you today, Young Hong? Could you please introduce Good. yourself? Good. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm from China. And, uh, my center is uh, mainly uh, neural trauma at the uh, hemorrhage. And uh, so I do some systemic surgery. Uh, very nice to ha uh, meet you. Very Thank good. You. Young, Young Hong is, 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 yeah, yeah. runs a cisternostomy group in, uh, in China, uh, Stuart. Mm -hmm. uh, Stuart, yeah, can you introduce you. yourself, please? Hello, uh, my name is Stuart Portilla from Ecuador. I'm a neurosurgeon. It's a great pleasure to be here. Okay, welcome, Stuart. He's an active member of the Spanish community. Dylan? Hey, everyone. I'm Dylan from Cameroon, 70 America student. Nice to meet you all. I'm very good. Uh, very good. Okay, Ulrich, it's all yours and welcome. Uh, thank you very much, John. Um, thanks. To everyone who's been attending, who's attending today. So those who are on the application Zoom and those who are on YouTube and hopefully Facebook for the next time. Um, our group is AFAN, that's the Association of Future African Neurosurgeons. So we are basically um, medical students. Uh, some of them, some of us are general practitioners and some of our residents. And we're trying to uh, increase not only the quantity and the quality of um, uh, uh, African neurosurgeons, as you know, there are not uh, that many in the sub-Saharan African region. And we'd like to use this platform to get in touch with uh, some of the best, like uh, you guys here, and exchange, learn, um, get to network. So thanks, John, for the opportunity. Welcome. In, in uh, uh, sessions, we decided we're going to start with uh, neuroanatomy and skull anatomy for us who uh, aspire to be future neurosurgeons. So um, our session today will be about the ethmoid bone. Um, so let me screen share so that we can get this going. Okay. Okay, there you go. Okay. Um, Very good. So um, I present myself. I'm Oric Sydney, final year medical student uh, from Cameroon. And uh, I'm a future research associate at Harvard University. 
and in the program for global surgery and social change. And uh, today we'll be talking about the etmoid bone. So uh, the etmoid bone is uh, one of the numerous bones we find at the level of the skull because we know the skull has a skull vault and a skull base. So the etmoid bone forms the skull base and uh, it's a very important bone for the neurosurgeon. So we're going to be talking about the anatomy, but as uh, we're going to talk equally about the operative anatomy. Um, so the etmoid actually comes from the Greek word etmos, which is a sieve. Uh, sieve because of the uh, uh, um, cribriform plate, because of the cribriform plate, which, is, which looks like a sieve. Um, the roof of the nasal cavity is actually formed by the etmoid and it actually uh, participates in the medial wall of the orbit. We're going to see further that the etmoid um, articulates with a lot of bones, um, up to 15 in total. And so it's a um, really complex anatomy around this area. We need to understand these um, rapports, these different uh, interactions between the different bones to better understand the surgical anatomy and decide for which procedures we're going to be adopting and the approaches as well. Then my bone, so it forms the anterior and the uh, middle thirds of the middle part of the anterior cranial fossa. So the anterior, the, the cranial fossa, fossae are uh, three of them, anterior, middle and posterior. And the anterior and middle are separated by the sphenoid ridge, as we all know. And the middle and posterior are separated by the preacher's part of the, uh, uh, the, the preacher's part of the temporal bone. So the etmoid is a very important part of the anterior cranial fossa. So very important for skull-based uh, surgery, so skull-based anatomy. Uh, it equally constitutes part of the nasal septum, the nasal septum which separates the nasal fossa into two and uh, participates into, uh, to constitute the lateral nasal wall. It is made up of three parts, uh, which we can have here. We have the cribriform plate, which gave it its name, the name for sieve, Edmos. This is the cribriform plate. And we equally have the perpendicular plate. This is the perpendicular plate, yeah, in pink, reddish pink. And we have the etmoid labyrinths, which are these uh, huge masses, which are lateral here. Obviously, there are other uh, important uh, aspects, anatomical aspects, which we'll be defining and describing on these um, three main parts of the etmoid bone. So we like to start with the embryology because um, uh, the embryology gives us a better understanding of uh, some of the anatomy, the variations, as well as the pathology for uh, structures. So embryologically, the etmoid is part of the chondrocranium, chondrocranium because chondros for cartilaginous, cranium for, for the skull. So uh, it's part of the chondrocranium. Uh, on its upper surface, we have the olfactory bulbs. This is very important from the embryology because we will understand later on why the first pair of cranial nerves, which is the olfactive, olfactive nerves, will be in a, in a very close rapport with the etmoid bone. In the primitive skull, we can find olfactory uh, capsule, uh, out of which the cartilaginous uh, etmoid bone will evolve. Uh, and uh, there will be this space which separates it and helps contain the, the forebrain. The cribriform plate, which we showed earlier, which has this um, sieve-like uh, aspect, is formed at four months. And up to then, a gap separates the lateral mass from the septal or trabecular plate. There are numerous articulations we can uh, uh, describe for the etmoid bone. Like we said earlier, the etmoid bone is a very important bone for the skull base, especially the anterior cranial fossa. So the etmoid bone, first of all, is um, single bone, so it's uh, unpaired, it's medial, and uh, it gets into contact with a uh, number of bones, a number of 15. We can separate them into the paired bones and unpaired bones. Others will separate them into uh, cr cranial bones and the facial bones. So uh, whichever, uh, it's good to know the, the different uh, divisions. For the paired bones, what we can uh, describe are uh, the nasal bones, the nasal bones which form a uh, part of the uh, of the uh, architecture, the skeletal architecture of the nose, the maxillae, the maxillae, uh, which are uh, the latter, the um, which is the upper part of um, 
the buccal or the buccal cavity, the upper bony part of the buccal cavity, the lacrimal bones, which are uh, with the edmoid bones will form the lateral part, the medial part of uh, the orbit, uh, the palatine bone, which forms the roof of the um, uh, oral cavity. So, uh, and then finally we have the inferior concave. Inferior concave because the um, edmoid bone actually has the other two concave, which are the superior and, and medial uh, and um, middle concave. Then for the unpaired bones, we can describe the frontal bone, frontal bone, the vomer, which is more interior, and finally the sphenoid bone, the sphenoid bone, which was described last week by uh, uh, a senior, the Dr. Nur, uh, uh who, who presented the sphenoid bone, very important for skull based anatomy as well. Uh, so talking about the articulations, we can better visualize this uh, in these different structures. So what we have here, well, we have, um, this is the edmoid bone, which is blue. It's blue all over and we can see it's transparent. So we can see some structures which we'll be describing later on. These are the edmoid cells. And uh, as well, well, we can see that here we have um, a view of the orbits. And clearly we can see that the edmoid bone is medial. So it, it participates to the medial uh, boundaries of both orbits. And with this uh, 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 situation, it will be in contact with uh, the lacrimal bone in front of it, it will be in, in contact as well with, uh, with the maxilla, maxilla. So we can see here, we have part of the maxilla here. We have the lacrimal bone here. And uh, we have the sphenoid here. We have the sphenoid bone here. And obviously, this is our ethmoid bone. Uh, we took out the frontal bone, the frontal bone, which will come and form the roof of the orbit, and then we'll get into contact with the edmoid. And below, below and behind, we have the vomer that comes and articulates with the, with the sphenoid bone, as well as the, the, the palatine, the palatine bone. So we're talking about the edmoid bone, and we described uh, that the edmoid bone has three parts. Some will say four, but actually the last that's the, uh, the last parts we described are actually two of them, the two of them. That's the, the lateral processes the, uh, that we'll be describing for the edmoid. So we start with the cribriform plate. We said earlier, the cribriform plate, which is sieve-like, and uh, it's represented here in blue, here, the cribriform plate. And we understand why cribriform, because it's, it has um, a lot of punctures, a lot of holes there, giving it the aspect of a sieve. Why these punctures? Well, because the uh, nasal fossae have um, uh, the nerves for the olfactive, for the olfactive nerve, there are the different uh, roots for the olfactive nerves that are at the superior part of the uh, nasal fossae. So these uh, nerve roots will be passing through these uh, punctures, these uh, punctures in the cribriform plate to go on and form the, olf the olfactive nerve and olfactive bulb. So uh, it is pierced by numerous olfactive nerve fibers, which give it a sieve like structure. And uh, projecting superior to this uh, cribriform plate, we have uh, this structure here, which we call the crista galli. Now, to, this, to the crista, crista galli, we can describe numerous structures. We can describe laterally uh, crista ele and uh, pointing uh, upwards and superior here, here, we can have the, we have a, a crista galli. Now the crista ele will go ahead and articulate with um, the frontal bone and it will leave a space, which we described uh, a couple of weeks back when we were talking about the frontal bone. We spoke about the foramen cecum. So the foramen cecum was uh, this space that was defined by the ele of the crista galli articulating with the, the frontal bone, the orbital part of the frontal bone. And this uh, foramen cecum will uh, be a, a means for passage of emissary veins, emissary veins which permit the communication between the external, so the exocranium and endocranium in terms of uh, vascularization. As well, um, the crista 
galley is this structure that points upwards because it provides insertion for uh, uh, a dural a dural fold and the dural fold here is called the fox cerebri the false cerebri is this dural fold which is medial and which separates both uh, aspects of the telencephalon that's both hemispheres and so it permits the insertion of uh, the the dura that's the uh, false cerebri and uh, when we look inferiorly, we're going to describe another structure which projects uh, inferiorly. That's the perpendicular plate, but that's another description. So we come now to a perpendicular plate. Now, the perpendicular plate that we find here is in blue. Perpendicular plate. It's um, it 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 looks sort of medial, but usually, what we find is that it's not properly mixed medial. So it's not really mid sagittal. It has a tendency to to deviate away slightly from the, the, the medial, the mid sagittal line. Uh, this structure, uh, which we call the perpendicular plate, is um, uh, ver uh, vertical and it constitutes the superior two thirds of the nasal septum. So it's very important to uh, understand this for endonasal approaches, actually. So uh, the perpendicular plate, which we can see here as well, perpendicular plate, and here, this is a lateral view, and we can equally see the superior concave and the middle concave. Now, the two lateral masses we described are the etmoidal labyrinths. Now, the etmoidal labyrinths are large masses located on either side of the perpendicular plate. They contain etmoidal air cells. Now, these etmoidal air cells, are, uh, they, in vivo, they are separated actually by surrounding bones. So the different bones we find around articulating with the etmoid are actually the ones which, who, comes and, who come and uh, uh, divide these different uh, air cells. So they, they help to have these air cells. And then the other thing is, the etmoidal labyrinths uh, don't have a roof per se. When, you when we take out the etmoidal labyrinth, the etmoidal bone, the etmoidal labyrinth has no roof. So uh, it has a, a roof which actually belongs to the frontal bone, which we'll be describing and showing in, showing in the next slide. Uh, there are two sheets of bone which form each labyrinth. There's an orbital plate, like the name suggests, for the, um, in contact with the orbit which is a lateral sheet of bone, which also forms the medial wall of the orbit, and a medial sheet, which forms the upper lateral uh, wall of the nasal cavity, from which the superior and middle concave extend into the nasal cavity. So the emoidal labyrinth, uh, we said within them we find the emoidal air cells. And these emoidal air cells are formed by the different components we already had, uh, the, the, the different components from the various bones that articulate with the emoid. Whereas the etmoid sinuses will be constitute, constituted by the different parts of the etmoid, that's the crystal galley, the cribriform plate, the perpendicular plate, and both la etmoidal labyrinths. So the etmoidal uh, air cells are divided by basal lamella of the middle turbinate into anterior and posterior divisions. This, we have to say here that this division is uh, surgical. So in, in, terms of surgic, of, in terms of surgery, we speak about anterior and posterior divisions for the etmoidal air cells. But in terms of anatomy, we have anterior, middle, and posterior. So the surgical division, actually anterior is the anatomical anterior and the anatomical middle, whereas the, the posterior is uh, remains the posterior. The anterior and the middle uh, air cells will drain in the uh, middle uh, concave, whereas the posterior air cells will, will drain into the the, the superior uh, concave. So we have a better view of, of our etmoidal labyrinths here. Uh, we can remi uh, remember a little bit here. We have a crystal galley um, here. We have a lateral processes, etmoid, etmoid labyrinths. And in transparency, we can see the etmoid air cells. And we can see here that we have uh, the superior and the middle concave. We have a perpendicular plate here, which is uh, uh, vertical and medial. Here, cribriform plate. And um, 
the roof of the Edmoy Library, like we said, was um, is actually free in terms of the Edmoy bone. It's constituted by a part of the uh, of the frontal bone. So this part is called fovea edmoidalis. So the fovea edmoidalis attaches medially to the tinea lam la lateral lamella of the cribri cribriform plate, completing the roof of the Edmoid air cells. In terms of uh, vascular anatomy, uh, here there the are two pre, uh, vessels, the anterior and the posterior edmoidal arteries, which are branches of the ophthalmic artery. Uh, the, uh, and the posterior edmoidal artery is actually a lot smaller than the anterior edmoidal artery. So that uh, for the description, uh, posterior edmoidal artery arises from the proximal first segment of the ophthalmic artery, whereas the anterior edmoidal arteries will arise from the distal intraorbital uh, third segment of the ophthalmic artery. And uh, they penetrate the, lam the lamina papyracea, which is this really thin sheet on the lateral uh, parts of the edmoid into the roof of the edmoid sinuses, which we described already. We said the edmoid sinuses are comprised of five parts. Uh, essentially, that's the cribriform plate, uh, the edmoid lateral masses, uh, the perpendicular uh, plate, where it gives off its dorsal nasal artery and through the cribriform plate close to the crista galli, so the intracranial opening of the anterior edmoidal canal um, to form the anterior fox artery. And like you guessed, the anterior fox artery is an artery that we'll find in the fox cere cerebri. Uh, both, both um, Posterior and anterior moidal arteries have branches for have meningeal branches, so they can give me they give meningeal branches. Um, in terms of uh, radio anatomy, in terms of radio anatomy, um, we have um, uh, a classification which helps us uh, um, uh, calculate the depth of the olfactory fossa, olfactory fossa, which is very important for the olfactory bulb. And this depth is uh, calculated um, and given a classification, which is a curious classification. The most frequent is type one, and the least frequent is type three. The type three uh, is uh, very is very prone to erosion, and so if if it's prone to erosion, even to trauma, and there's a risk for uh, spontaneous CSF leaks, for example, and, and encephalomeningo cell. Uh, we have here uh, two uh, of the classifications, the type one and then the type two. So in this, let me get my cursor. Here we have a crystal galley here. So uh, this is our orbit. And like we described on the medial part of the orbit, we have a participation for the uh, by, by the edmoid bone. And here what we have are, are air cells air cells. Here is the perpendicular plate. As we can see, it's not really mid-sagittal. It's not really mid-sagittal. This is a maxillary sinus here as well. So um, same description. And um, well, we know all this anatomy now. We need to be able to apply this anatomy to, to um, surgery for operative purposes. So one very important uh, aspect is um, anterior skull based meningioma. There are three uh, types of anterior skull based meningioma, which we can describe. Um, the first one is the one that will interest us the most. That's the olfactory growth meningioma. We equally have um, meningioma of the planum sphenoidale and meningioma of the tuberculum cellae. Olfactory growth meningioma um, have as origin the meninges of the cribriform plate. And equally, the sutures the, for the frontal sphenoidal suture, the sphenoidal suture, and the frontal edmoidal sutures. Um, we have to say here that the clinical presentation for anterior skull based meningioma is not very is is is, is not very, very rich. There's not a lot we can have, especially for olfactory growth meningioma and planum sphenoidale meningioma. Uh, the reason here is that the structures around this area area can easily be compressed without manifesting uh, clinical uh, signs. So usually when anterior skull-based meningioma are discovered, it's uh, uh, well after 
um, the, the initial growth. And another thing is they grow really slowly. So for them to double their size, it has been estimated that they can take about five, five to six years for, for them to double size their, their size. So usually they're found with really big volumes. And we all understand with uh, different uh, operative possibilities how we would choose uh, classically to uh, to operate on this olfactory growth meningioma, planus phenoidale meningioma as well. So uh, presentations might, what can we have? We might have behavioral changes, personality changes, headaches. Some really rarely, but um, somewhat uh, peculiar is the Foster Kennedy syndrome, where we have unilateral optic uh, atrophy, unilateral on anosmia, unilateral central scotoma, and contralateral papilledema. For the tuberculum cele, it's a little bit different from the other two because the tuberculum cele, given its proximity to the chiasma on one part and then the, the cele on the other part, that's, uh, I mean by that, the pituitary. So the, the signs are, are seen a, a little earlier than uh, we'll see. We, we should equally um, say here that the anterior skull based meningioma constitute about 10% of all meningioma. And uh, remember that meningioma are the most frequent extra axial, axial um, uh, tumors we find in the brain, usually benign, but some of them can uh, manifest uh, malignant uh, characteristics. Um, so, I took this quote from Professor Mohamed El Fiki, who uh, is um, an Egyptian uh, neurosurgeon. He has been, uh, he's a, a great neurosurgeon. He, he has been past president of uh, the Egyptian Neurosurgical Society and published uh, a lot. So he says this about anterior skull based meningioma, that vascularity may be ameliorated if the edmoidal arteries are controlled intra or extracranial in the orbit or in the edmoidal roof through microsurgical or endoscopic approaches or endovascular. Uh, like we all know, meningioma have a particularity in the fact that they are usually uh, very vascularized. Um, a CT scan usually iso, iso dense, and then in terms of M, uh, MRI, they, they, they pick up a lot of gadolinium and between 50 and 72% of the cases we will find um, we will find that they they, they manifest um, uh, after the gadolinium has picked up they will manifest the dural tail uh, screen share. Young Young Han, you are you are screen sharing. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, 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 sorry. It's okay. I'll trade it out. I'm I'm getting whoever's off off. So it's all yours now. It's all yours. Okay. Sorry. Sorry. No worries. No problem. Okay. Yeah. Thanks. Um. So, given that mean in German are uh, heavily. Uh, richly vascularized, it's very important to be able to uh, control this vascularization. And this can determine the success of surgery on anterior skull-based meningioma. Uh, the great majority of anterior skull-based meningioma are vascularized by the anterior and posterior edmoidal uh, arteries. So uh, like we, we said earlier, the anterior and posterior edmoidal arteries are actually branches of the ophthalmic artery. So one possibility obviously is uh, embolization but the risk of the embolization in this case is that uh, we can have a, a iatrogenic embolization of the ophthalmic artery in which case we will have a visual deficit so that's one of the risks and so we need to be to be careful another option between, uh, besides embolization is clipping so anterior skull based meningiomas are supplied by motor arteries 10 percent of the time <laughs> Operating a less vascular field may be achieved if we control the feeding anterior and posterior and middle arteries preoperatively or early intraoperatively. So, uh, when we have to operate on uh, anterior skull based meningioma, specifically, specifically olfactory growth uh, meningioma, 
we have two um, options. We have microscope on one side and endoscope on the other side, endonasal endoscopy. Well, um, the, I, the, the discussion today is not which one to do in which case, but we already know the, the general principles. Uh, with endoscopy, we can access uh, a lesion with uh, less trauma. It's uh, uh, minimally invasive compared to, to uh, a microscope. The difficulty here is that we have 2D view, and then uh, all the difficulty is if we have to control bleeding hemostasis, it's usually more difficult with a, an endoscope than with a microscope. Then there's also the learning curve. And if the tumor is really voluminous, then it's better, you are better off choosing uh, microscopy. However, if we have to do uh, endonasal endoscopy for this surgery, we would choose preferably a 30 degree rigid endoscope. And here we, when we try to do a control of the amoidal arteries, we can use a few, a few tips, a few caveats. So the artery will be parallel to the enmoid sinus roof as it curves along the cribriform plate, posterior lateral to anterior medial at an angle of 60 degrees to the lamina papyracea. And so the anterior enmoidal artery uh, will be posterior to the anterior first face of the bulla enmoidale. So the bulla enmoidale is um, a part of the, the uh, lateral uh, bodies of the edmoid. And it's, um, it's called bulla enmoidale because it, con it, con it contains um, air cells. So it's usually one of the biggest um, cells at, at that region. The posterior enmoidal artery, artery at the junction of the roof of the site of the sphenoid and the posterior enmoid sinus, that's where it can be found. Um, other uh, clinical relevance is for in cases of enmoid fracture. So the enmoid bone can be fractured in cases of facial trauma, for example, uh, most commonly hitting the dashboard in case of a collision or fall from height. Some signs and symptoms of fracture are related to the anatomy of the enmoid bone. So like we said already, we know that the enmoid bone has a um, uh, cribriform plate in which we can find the, the branches for the olfactory um, for the olfactory uh, nerve. Yeah. So for the olfactory yeah. nerve, so that for the olfactory nerve, if there's a lesion of the olfactory nerve, we're going to have um, uh, anosmia. So um, another problem is uh, if we have lesions of the, the labyrinth, this may allow communication between the nasal cavity and the orbit, in which case the air from the nasal cavity will go to the orbit and we have a case of orbital emphysema. Um, Another case is CSF rhinorrhea. CSF rhinorrhea can be traumatic or it can be um, in spontaneous. Spontaneous, for example, when we have a, a very thin lamina papyria, um, a very thin olfactory uh, groove depth. So uh, a fracture of the cribriform plate may allow communication between the nasal cavity on the one part and then the central nervous system, in which case we'll have uh, CSF leak. And this CSF leak will be uh, causing the communication between the um, uh, brain on one part, which is inside, and the exterior. So there's a risk of meningitis in this case. Most of these cases are handled conservatively, so there's no need to operate in most cases. Here we have a, a, a cystenography, and we can clearly visualize can clearly visualize that CSF is in the nasal cavity. So these were our references, and uh, thanks for, for listening. If there are any questions, please. Uh, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, you're a little advanced for a medical student. Uh, that's a great presentation. Thank you very much. Uh, before we open up the questions, let's quickly introduce two neurosurgeons that came. Marco, ha greetings, Marco. Hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Hello, Marco. Hello, Marco. Marco's a, a neurosurgeon from Italy. Yeah, yeah, we've met we met um, a couple of times. Right. Yeah. Okay. Also, we'd like to welcome Nuru. Hello, Nuru. Hello. Hello, everybody. Hello, John. Hello, Ulrich. Hello. Okay, you got four neurosurgeons here, uh, Ulrich, to give you a little feedback. <laughs> great. That's great. And Young Hong, anyone can comment on the importance of this this type of 
anatomy, uh, how, why a neurosurgeon has to know it cold. Maybe you guys can comment on that. Okay. You want to start off, uh, Marco, the importance of knowing? Uh, well, yeah, you missed the presentation, but he basically gave a very, gave a very comprehensive review of the ethmoid area in neuroanatomy. Uh, and, and I, you know, I'm, I imagine it's important really to know that it seems central, right, Marco? Yeah, that's right. In particular, uh, I take advantage to remember the importance of the ethmoidal arteries, uh, in particular when uh, they are the only one to vascularize retrogradly uh, the, uh, the retina, because we, we need to, to remember that in some case, the uh, internal carotid artery uh, uh, is uh, uh, stenotic, and uh, so the, uh, uh, the blood flow uh, for the retina uh, is guaranteed by uh, 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 anastomosis between the uh, fascial artery and the lacrimal artery, then go to the ethmoidal artery and to, so to the uh, retina. So it's very important in the pre-operatively planning to uh, perform an angiography and to see if there is some uh, prevalence of flow throughout the, the uh, ethmoidal artery, because on the contrary, there is a risk to sacrifice the uh, ethmoidal artery during the operation and make the patients blind. Okay, thank you very much. Thanks. Thanks, Marco. Any other comments, Young Hung? You've been around the ethmoid area very much, mm -hmm. Young Hung? I'm Young Hung. I'd uh, thank you, thank you uh, for your good presentation. And the uh, ethmoid bull is very important uh, for uh, anterior skull base uh, surgery. So, we uh, especially endoscopic surgery such as uh, CSF leak at the uh, manager OMO. So, yeah. mm, thank you. Well, Thanks. you know, the ENT, I didn't know uh, ENT uh, surgery had so much in common with neurosurgery. Mm -hmm. And that's one area where ENT also does surgery, correct? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. In the ethmoid area? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, because I put a notice out to a prominent ENT surgeon in India, uh, saying that, hey, we have this talk now by a Cameroonian student about the ethmoid area and its relevance to the ENT neurosurgeons also. So, uh, Nuru, any comments or, or anything to say to uh, Ulrich? I know you, you missed most yeah. of it, but he talked about the, he gave a very comprehensive talk about yeah. the ethmoid area. I was, I was, I was a little uh, late, I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I just uh, finished to operate and come back quickly to home. So I'm sorry to be a little late. But I, I see uh, the, the clinical uh, relevance you do about this uh, special uh, bone, petmoid, and uh, it is good presentation. And uh, I encourage you to do more, more and more. And I have just one uh, um, comment uh, about CSF leak. And you have to note that in our area, it is not immediately we we going to perform endoscopy treatment. Uh, sometimes you have done change um, uh, lumbar uh, CSF leak. If we don't eat, maybe for five days if we don't have rhin rhinorrhea we can uh, uh, conclude that it is uh, okay we don't have um, uh, we don't have csf leak uh, more and you can but if uh, after uh, shunt lumbar shunt external uh, sometimes we can then just um, uh, function lumbar function to to to, to release uh, maybe 40 cc of uh, uh, LCF, we can do it uh, one day and two days, and if it's not okay, we're going to 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 shunt uh, to lumbar shunt external to five or uh, one week and to to see if we if it is uh, if they, we don't have uh, any rhinorrhea, we can remove that and let patient. If inside uh, this uh, management, patient come back 
maybe three weeks after or uh, one month after and uh, continue to, to with rhinorrhea, then we can go to perform endoscopic uh, treatment or another neurosurgical uh, treatment, uh, as you know. So that's just my comment about CSF leak, uh, post-traumatic or uh, spontaneous, uh, uh, spontane because not all CSF leak who is post-traumatic. Sometimes you can have um, congenital uh, malformation about ethmoid bone or sinoid bone. And, uh, you can have uh, CSF leak. So that is my comment. And thank you for your presentation, Eric. Very Thank good. you very much. Thank you, Nuru. Uh, Stuart, do you have any comments or questions about the Ethmoid area uh, for uh, Ulrich? Dr. Ulrich, uh, thank you. Uh, really good and clear explanation, good presentation. The, the importance of, the, uh, of this part of the base of the brain uh, is, is very important, uh, relevant for the endoscopic operation. And in case of trauma, uh, no. Uh, it's, it's very important to know the, the anatomical points to don't damage more uh, the uh, very uh, noble structures like uh, factory nerves, like the vascularity. Uh, a good explanation about the branch and the border bone, the vascularity, and relations with uh, other important structures like the uh, carotid arteries and uh, then the then branch. Thank you, it's really clear explanation. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. <clears throat> okay, any other comments or questions? Okay, okay, very good. This wraps up the, the, the presentation for this week. Uh, one thing I'd like to add a little something different uh, because I'm curious about Cameroon, exactly where it's at. And I asked, I asked uh, Ulrich if he'd like to give us a, a brief tour and we could possibly do the same with the other neurosurgeons real quick, just to give us an idea. Go ahead, Ulrich, take it over. Uh, okay, thanks, John. So um, Cameron, for those who love um, football or soccer for you, John, uh, yeah. you must have heard about uh, Samuel Eto'o or yes. Roger, yes. Roger Miller. So, and if you like basketball, then you have heard about Joel Embiid. Of course. I hope, I hope you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So Cameroon is the country of those um, amazing guys. Uh, Cameroon is a country in uh, West Central Africa. And, uh, can you show us a map? Uh, can you show us a map? Uh, screen share a map. Or oh, you want me to? I'll do it. Yeah, it's better if you, if you do, because my connection okay. is not great. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess you're not, you're not ready for this. This is kind of an impromptu thing. Maps, Google. Okay, let me just set it up here. Why are setting it up? So Cameroon is um, it, it's called Africa in miniature. So because the so many cultures, uh, we have about 250 different ethnical groups and that many languages as well. That's for local yeah. languages. But in I terms of a good yeah, yeah. players, in Cameroon, good soccer players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. And um, it's very uh, central, to, very central to Africa. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. There uh -huh. you go. Thanks, John. Thanks, John. So, so you can see uh, Cameroon here, it's next to Nigeria uh, on, on the Western part. Uh, we have Chad, uh, Central African Republic, Equatorial Guinea, Gabon. The capital is Yaoundé. So it's uh, somewhat in the uh, south, southward and Douala is the economic capital. Yeah. So um, you, you, you will find, you find a little bit of everything in Cameroon. You'll find uh, some desert, you'll find some forest, you can find in terms of fauna, you can find giraffes, you can find lions. So, I mean, if you get a chance to come to Cameroon, you should come to Cameroon. You 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 will love the experience. Yeah, you will love the experience. We have two official languages. That's French and English. So, not everyone speaks French and English. So, you will find some people that can speak both, and others that just speak either French or either English. Very good. Uh, very good. Very good. Very good. It's very interesting. I hope we all can get and there. You guys, we, we might look you getting to Boston also. Uh, yeah. Can we briefly go over it? Young Hong, could you show us where you're from? And, yeah. and could you please show us uh, uh, to get an idea of where okay. everyone's from here? Just a quick, a okay. quick little tour of uh, the city you're in in China. <clears throat> okay. Uh... Hmm. 
because we have a varied group today from China, uh, Ecuador, Italy, China, uh, Morocco. Uh -huh. You want me to do, do it? Uh, I can do it if you want. Okay. You want me to do it? Uh, I can do it. Uh, I should. Uh, okay, I'll okay. do it. Here you go. I got it. Okay, got it. There we go. Okay, where are you at? This one, Taiwan City. Okay, I, I got to get the spelling there. Uh, uh, this this part. Hold on. Yeah, let me let me get back there. I'm getting confused here. This Shashi. Uh, hold on. Shashi. Uh, I'm wrong. Uh, I'm getting confused here. Stop share. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me screen share again. Okay. 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 Uh. Is it south? Uh, this part near, Shashi. Hai, near hai, uh, Hong Shashi. Kong, middle, middle, the middle here, uh, Hunan, yeah, here, yeah, yeah. Shanxi, up, 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 yeah, here, uh, uh, no, 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 the Zhenghu, uh, Shanxi, Shanxi, up, 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 <laughs> up, up, very up, difficult. up. up. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Uh, this Be Beijing, Taiwan. This this part. Taiwan. Higher than that. Beijing, north of Beijing. This, yes, north north of Beijing. Yeah. Wow, north of Beijing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Very far north. Mm -hmm. Uh. Uh. This the uh. Stop. 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 This part. Right here, Shanghai. Taiwan city. Taiwan city. Oh, Taiwan. 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 Oh, okay, there, right? Here, here. No, 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 no. Let me show you. Okay. Uh, let me show you. Okay, I'll stop here. I'll let you go. Uh, stop. <clears throat> uh. <clears throat> huh? At the oh okay, this part this oh okay, yes yeah I can't read Chinese. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah, this is uh, my city. Oh, okay, can you get a, a larger view, a larger view, yeah, yes. farther away, so I can see yes a perspective of where exactly this in is China. City. Yeah, make the screen sm smaller. Uh huh. Uh, this you have a larger my... view, like to press the minus. Uh, okay. To make larger. <clears throat> larger. Let me show you my uh, hospital. Oh, okay. Big city? Uh, big, uh, very big. One million? Uh, four million. Four million. Uh -huh. That's a small city. Four minutes. This is my. Of... This is my hospital. Okay, I can see you. Yeah, this is my hospital. Okay. Yeah. Very good. Yes. Very, yes. Very good. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Let's try Thank Joffrey. You. Let's Joffrey. <laughs> can you uh, show <laughs> us where you're? We are from. Uh, Ecuador. In Quenca, Ecuador. Uh, oh, can you do it? Is that possible? Uh, yes. Can you do it? If you can't do it, that's okay. I think he's getting hold. I think he's uh, doing it. You, you there, Joffrey? Yeah, he's. Oh, you're just trying to share, huh? <clears throat> okay. Oh, how are you? Okay. Can you screen share it all? There you go. There you go. Oh, you're doing it from your smartphone. Mm -hmm. Yes. I That's good. Very good. You're learning, huh? Uh -huh. 
Wow, that's good. Oh. This is from a smartphone. This is from a smartphone, Yang Hong. Uh, my is my uh, uh, computer. Uh, okay, is that uh, <coughs> Young Hong? Uh, excuse me, uh, Joffrey, you're from Ecuador, correct? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. You are seeing. Yeah, yeah, seen? Cuenca, Cuenca, Ecuador. Okay. This is Ecuador. Uh, Very good. Okay, a small, a, a small, a small city. Uh, small city. It's north of city. Quito, right? Uh, Quito is uh, eighty thousand. Cuenca, Ecuador. Okay, yeah, everyone can see where it's at, right? You see where Quito is. It's in northern Ecuador. It's in northern. It's in Mount. It's a very beautiful city, right? It's considered to be a retirement center. This is Quito. Yes. Is so, there to and that's where one of the fountains of youth is, right? Yes. Quito. Quito. I got to get there. I want to see these new developments in computers. Okay, very good, Joffrey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And one, we got one more. Uh, Nauru, can you show us where you are in Morocco? You want to show us, uh, Nauru, where you're at? Can you do that <laughs> on your smartphone? It's not easy. That's okay if you don't know how. Don't worry about it. It, it takes a little while to get to know the smartphone. I, I don't know it that well. <clears throat> but just like uh, Joffrey did, uh, he, you can screen share. It's at the very bottom. It says share. Click on that button. There you go. You got it. You got it. There you go. Okay, the screen is yours. <clears throat> okay, there you go. Look at that. Robot. You know, most people know Morocco. You know how Nuru they know Morocco? Nuru, can you hear me? We're not getting your audio. Can anybody hear his audio? No. Or is it my audio? Can anybody hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Okay, now we okay. hear you. Okay, it is good. So, um, you see, you see this... Uh... I can see your smartphone's working hard. Yeah. To get that screen up there. <laughs> so you see, you see, this it is uh, it's on the coast. A robot is on the. Is it on the coast, yeah. robot of Morocco? Yes. You see. Okay, we see yeah. part of it. We don't see the whole yes. map. Is there any way you can make it bigger? The map? Ah, wait. Let me yeah, show. The map is pretty small there. Yes, you're right. Let me show you. Wait. Um. How can I do that? All right. <clears throat> it could be we're overloading the smartphone. And it, yes. just, it just can't put the screen up. You know, it's it's asking for a lot of bandwidth. And you, you just don't have it. That's okay, Nero. That's okay. It's just, it looks. Is that it? No, we can't see it yet. It's, I think it's working too hard. It can't do it. Ah, uh, you see how hard it's working. It can't. It can't. Just can't set it up. Well, thanks, anyways. Okay. Well, thanks, everybody. Oh, it's getting better. What happened there? Oh. Okay. No problem. Okay. I guess we'll have to postpone it to another time when you're at a, at a stronger, 
stronger uh, internet connection. Uh, hello, Mr. Marco Meloni. I hope you enjoy the article that I said I sent you last time. Yeah, Mr. absolutely. Thank you very, very much. Very, okay. very interesting. <laughs> Thanks. You'll be very, very kind. And we, we have a late arrival here. We'll just introduce him. Remy Kleb. Kleb, can you, you missed the lecture, but I'll send you the uh, video. Could you please introduce yourself? Myself, uh, I am Dr. Kleb. I am a neurosurgeon from Mauritania. Ah, okay. I'm sorry, did you hear where he's from? Okay, Dr. Kleb, uh, endoscopy neurosurgeon. <laughs> Okay, you guys know each other. I know him. I know him. Where Where is he from? Mauritania. Mauritania. Oh, oh excellent! In Africa, oh, right? I am... In Africa, right? Wow. I am in France. Yeah. I think welcome, she... welcome, Ray. Well, I have your email, right? Yeah, yeah. I okay. Have it. okay, so you get all our notices. That's great. Hello, Mr. Remy Clive. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay, let me let me just announce here. We have a talk tomorrow with Ibe Cherian, and let me just uh, put it up here so you guys can see it. Ah, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, Sunday. Uh, but Ipe is talking about okay. clinoidectomy, intradural and extradural at 5, oh. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Oh, I'm sorry. 5 p.m. Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. Okay, it's good. Oh, this, is the so way to, this is the way to give a presentation. 5 p.m. Sunday. Uh, and I think in Morocco it's 1.30, I think. Oh, it is, it is good. So uh, what about, um, uh, I want to know uh, what will be the next topic, uh, Ulrich. Do you want, uh, do you want me to uh, prepare something or you have, um, you have oh. one part to done? Yeah, yeah. Um, we, we were thinking about doing um, meninges for next week. Do you, if, if you have anything, then we will do. Yes. Yeah. Well, we can have two talks if you want. Oh, okay. You know, okay. if you want, uh, or, if you or... want, you can send me send me that. I will prepare. I will prepare this topic for uh, Friday. Oh, that will be amazing. Yeah, or, yeah that will be amazing. We could have two talks. You know, we could have your regular talk plus Nauru if you want. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes, that. Yeah. That would be great. That's yes. Great. That would be good. Okay, gentlemen, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop recording this, uh, and then we can stick around and, and network. Hold on. Uh, thanks everyone for coming, and uh, this will all be, all be. Uh, let me get my. Uh, I gotta learn producing here. I gotta get my own picture up here. <laughs> Where is it here? Uh, well, that. Oh yeah, I'm there. There, there, there. Okay, I gotta pin my video because I want you to see this beautiful background. Uh, Neurosurgical TV. Thanks everyone for coming, and uh, we'll see you next week. I'm gonna stop recording right now. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. John. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. See you tomorrow. Okay. We're still we're, we're still on Facebook. We're still on YouTube live, but don't go. We're not being recorded. Oh, okay, D Dr. Nuru. Maybe what we can do is I, I can talk about just the meninges, and then you can go ahead and talk about say meningiomas. Okay. It is okay. It is okay. So yeah. I will. I, ah, this is uh, Mr. Remy Kleib. Yes. Hello, I met you last uh, Maghreb Bean Congress in uh, March in uh, Noachat. Ah, I remember. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes. How fine, are you? you? I'm fine. I'm fine. It is you. You done endoscopic. Uh, you 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 done your training in Dakar. If I remember. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah. If I don't. Uh, Yes, I was my uh, my six years of medical school uh, in Dakar in, uh, of five. I, I don't remember. Maybe I don't. I I don't uh, remember exactly, but I know. Yeah, you. Yeah, thank you very much. Welcome, thank, welcome. thank you, thank you, thank you very much. See you next. Okay, <laughs> see you tomorrow. Yeah, I see you in, in Tanger. I I hope you will come in Tanger yeah. here in Morocco. Okay. I'm gonna try to find. I hope. I hope. I will see you. <laughs> I'm going to try to find the country of Mauritius. Uh, it's, it looks like a beautiful place. Mauritania. It's, uh, it's not Mauritania. Mauritius. Oh, I'm sorry, Mauritania. Mauritania. It's in, in yeah, West Africa, yeah. I'm sure that's a, I'm sure that's Thank a you. Thank you, John. 
beautiful country and no oh, is beautiful oh, wow country. that's oh wow <laughs> that is look at look where this is uh, oh you know where it is Ulrich. Uh, but <laughs> me being an ignorant american look at this martini see where it's at right that's where we're at yeah yeah yes. Yes. That is, wow this is nice. yes you're in the new kachot new kachot yeah 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 oh that's where you are now I am now in France. Oh, okay. You're taking okay. a course. You're taking a course no. now? I am, I am a neurosurgeon in Tours from France. Oh, Tours. Yes. Oh, okay. Next week, I meet uh, your friend, uh, I, oh, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, Tours is a big neuroanatomy center, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So he, he has to, to know uh, Professor Lippe because sometimes he comes to Tours. Yeah, yeah. He come to yeah, okay. I, I, yeah, I've been speaking Sunday if you want to see him. Okay, thank you very much. See you okay, Sunday. Send you a link, okay? Nice to see okay. you again. Thank you for thank coming. Thank you very much. Thank you for everybody. Bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, this is great meeting all these neurosurgeons, huh, Ulrich? Yeah, yeah. It's amazing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Networking. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's a big plus of this, of this, of this platform is me, meeting people. Uh, yes. Oh yeah, I met I met Remy with uh, I I I had a, uh, I presented a case from uh, Rem, uh, Tours with his smartphone, uh, just like Nauru. He's he's pretty good at with a smartphone, and he, he can easily screen share. And I've got to learn how to really start these because you know optimally, uh, Ulrich, I, you got to I got to learn how to do it on all platforms. But ideally, I'll be able to start these from a smartphone, no matter where I'm at. Yeah. Uh, as long as I'm in a 5G, you know, a good connection, I mm -hmm. can start them just like I started this one. Um, okay. Because really, the, the, the facial picture is okay. Uh, it's not that important. What's important is the screen share. And you can do it just as effectively on a smartphone as you can a laptop or a desktop. So... Uh, and this particular, I, as I told Ulrich, uh, um, Marco, this one's on YouTube. This particular presentation was on YouTube uh, as well as on the website uh, because Facebook is temperamental. Uh, okay. They have all kinds of censorship and punishments uh, for music, for gory surgery. They don't like gory surgery. Uh, as you probably noticed, Ulrich, they black it out. You, you, yeah. you have to make another click. You've noticed that, right? Yeah, I noticed. I noticed. Yeah, I noticed. They, they do that. Uh, and I hope they can distinguish uh, a transgression like that, meaning a well-meaning transgression. We're not trying to spread hate or bigotry or whatever. We're just education, basically. But I guess they have to lump things in and just stop some televising things but anyways it's working well okay everyone thank you for coming and sunday zype at five maybe we'll see you guys there okay okay thank you very much thank you for, thank you very much and i'll send you all a recording okay okay i'll stop the screen oh, okay. sharing he's and, okay uh, okay bye-bye bye-bye stop, stop the live